What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're going to get into some bloody Shining Fates mini tins today. But before we do that, we're just going to quickly discuss is these greedy cretins absolutely ruining the bloody hobby through nothing more than trying to make as much money as possible on what is initially a charitable bloody thing. Yes, of course, I'm talking about the Leon Hart special Pokemon boxes or whatever you want to call them. He recently released another, another lot of them for pre-order to be released on March 19th. And of course, within an hour or so, all 7,000 plus boxes of these were sold out. The site Troll and Toad kept bloody crashing. I know firsthand because I tried to order some for myself. I managed to get two in the end, one for myself and one for my brother. While I was constantly refreshing the page, getting so far with it, of course, and finally getting to actually purchase it. But uh, yeah, nah, what really pissed me off is I was also refreshing eBay at the time and no joke within 20 minutes of that video going up people were already putting on eBay these boxes for upwards of $180 for a single box are you are you insane like how much of an ass wipe do you have to be to do this like in all seriousness it's it's ridiculous like not even 20 minutes and the fact that they put down your confirmed pre-order so you're not even offering them straight goddamn box oh god damn it winds me up something fierce I did do a video on this a couple of months back um, and I'm sorry to see it happening guys especially for people that just wanted to open up the goddamn products like seriously people just say oh they can do what they want they can make money how they want it supply and demand i get that I get how some line demand works, but it's a fucking children's hobby, you dickheads. Also, I bet you any money you were one of those arseflaps that thought this guy was an absolute dickhead. Do you remember this guy? During the pandemic and everyone was buying toilet paper and hand gel and shit, he bought a whole house worth of it. Everyone on the planet hated this guy and he used the same logic as you. So to me, you're in this category with this fella. Also, and before you say, oh, Pokemon cards and toilet paper are very different, no. No. Yes, one used to wipe your ass, but people may have an invested interest in this specific hobby. They just enjoy it. It might be the highlight of their week, their year even getting some Pokemon product to open up. And you're robbing them of that, literally robbing them of that experience by firsthand taking all the stock and then secondly, of course, overcharging them. Yeah, it's horrible to see, guys, and I'm sorry it's happening. I don't know what he's going to do because I feel like every time he, he, Leon Hart may do another release of these things, and it wouldn't surprise me. But again, he limited it to five per person, but, with, <laughs> but that's another thing. You saw these eBay posts. They all had five available in stock so they just they just bought up all the fives and they would have they would have done it through multiple emails and it's just ah uh, i just i can't stand greed it pisses me right off especially when you're taking advantage of the people that just want to open a few goddamn packs you absolute cretins anyways enough of that enough of this poker politics or whatever you want to call it let's just get into the video all right cool sweet What's going on, you absolute animals? We're back at it again with some bloody mini tins. These bad boys seem to have the best pulls of any Shining Fates products thus far. Then again, I haven't opened up Elite Trainer Box, but uh, yeah, no, let's just get into it. Right, yeah, obviously I should have said first we're opening with the Kyogre pack. Right, we've got a Manaphy. Again, it seems to be only Manaphy and Mewtwo coins in here. I would have thought they'd have a variety of possibly all the bloody Pokemon on the uh, on the tins. We're not going to review too much of the coins, especially if they're doubles today, guys. But yeah, nice skin the goddamn packs. Right, packs wise, we got Giant Fire Lizard and we got a bloody bird wearing Knight's armor. So let's uh, let's start with the Charizard, shall we? Cute card. Right, Darkness Energy, Elder Goss, bloody Rusty Shield. Little Radom, Bloody Horsey, Shinx, Little Spider, admiring that drop of water. Grokey thinking, my boy Snom, I do love this card. We've got a Reverse Hollow Thwacky, and on the end, we've got some first pack magic with a Cinderace V, okay. Okay, we've not uh, we've not pulled this card yet, so my brother will be buzzing as he's uh, completing a Shining Fates Master Set and he's getting all these bloody cards. Of course, if we pull doubles, guys, you know the rule there. But we'll be giving away some doubles from Shining Fates. But yeah, no, not a bad start. Right, Corviknight, can we keep this bloody uh, luck going, eh? Okay, card. One, two, three, four to the front. Right, Wet Energy, Big Ass Ugly Bird, Elder Goss. Another Rusty Shield, Happy More Pico. Again, coughing that's dropped a mad fart and he's really proud of it. We got a Yanmar, we got a Trap Inch, we got a Grokey. Did I just spoil something? No, it was just a professor's research, no one cares. And on the end, we got a Frost Moth Hollow. I'm not sure if I pulled this in the Hollow yet, but I have pulled it in a, in a Reverse Hollow Rare. And obviously, we do get another Reverse Hollow Rare in Professor's Research. So, uh, yeah, no, the, uh, probably the worst tin I've opened up yet, and that's saying something. Right, next tin, we'll go with the Angry Monkey and the Little Elder Goss, I believe, up here. Right, first things first, we've got the Mewtwo coin. Yes, we are. It, it, yes, it is different to the Manaphy, but I feel, again, it's, I'm pretty sure there's only two types of coins you can get in these tins. In this pack, we have the other two from the art set. We have Old McDonald's ears, and we have the Electric Poison Pokemon, but actually, he's pretty he's pretty popular. Hold on to these. These, pack, these packs feel kind of thick. I do like that, you know? So I think I'm going to finish with uh, Toptricity. Right, Old McDonald's ears. Code card. 
Right, psychic energy, monkey, that thing, Luxio, Gossip Fleur, Nick It, Trap Inch, Yanma. Oh no, I've already spoiled that we're not getting anything shiny. We've got a Weasel, we've got a Reverse Hollow Manaphy, which is a Reverse Hollow Rare. Okay, okay, I'll take that. And on the end, we've got a Monkey. So, right, this creature, I don't know what they base it on. I'm assuming it's based off an Echidna or some sort of Porcupine. Good God. Metal Energy or Steel Energy, we got a Plant Dinosaur, we got a Cramorant, we got Gym Trainers, we got a Happy Cactus, we got a Fart and Coughing, we got a Snom, my boy, we got a Gossip Fleur, we got a Cute Elephant, we got a Reverse Hollow Fart and Coughing, and on the end we've got an Indeedy Hollow. Right, okay. Compared to the last in openings, this is pretty shocking. We need some we need some variety. This is the third Indeedy I've pulled, so this bad boy is 100% going in the doubles giveaway. So we'll still stay tuned for that. I'm gonna Gonna get together a bunch of cards for that, but yeah, guys, make sure you like and subscribe the videos. That way, uh, that way, we will see you'll find out about that giveaway sooner. Hey, hey, hey! Right, Reshiram. Right, Reshiram without plastic. Right, we're back to the same two from the original. Let's see if the luck's a bit different. Charizard. What did I start with last time? I started with Charizard. So let's start with the Metal Bird. We code card. One, two, three, four to the front. Come on, let's give me. We haven't had any shiny pulls yet. Wet energy. Wet Weasel, Rusty Shore, Sword, Shored, Radom, Coughing, Little Weasel, Trap Inch, I do like him, a Little Owl, we got a Little Fox, ha <laughs> ha, that's what we want to see. Anything on the end, Nutch no, Professor's Research, get that out the way. Already the pull of the day right here in my eyes, that's a very cute, bloody, very cute Pokemon. Jesus, there's some silvering on the side there, you can see that, I can guarantee you guys can see that too. Otherwise though, the, there's no whitening on the back, the uh, centering pretty damn on point so yeah no nah, your boy's gonna get sleeve that bad boy up right big ass angry lizard code card card we've got a darkness energy we've got a green monkey we've got a towel we got that bird we've got trap hints we got an owl we got a little weasel we got a spinner rack we got a more pk we got a reverse holo decidueye which is a reverse holo rare but i would much rather have preferred a bloody shiny something and on the end, we got a Volcanian. Right, these uh, these packs aren't anywhere near as good as the last ones, which is really starting to piss me off. All right, what do I finish with? Do I finish with the Celebi and Rillaboom, or I finish with Manaphy and Teleon? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We'll go with uh, we'll go with Manaphy. I'll finish with Celebi because it's more OG for me. Right, there's Manaphy without plastic and Teleon being a creep. Okay, we're mixing it up a bit with the uh, two packs in here. Um, you know what? I'm gonna start with old McDonald's ears. No, I started with old McDonald's ears. We'll start with Charizard again. Right, code card. Fighting energy. Let's get out of the way. Team Yell Tao. Ball guy. I really would like the full art of him because I do like him. Tropius. More Pico. Tudel. Rowlet. Trap Inch. Coughing. Reverse Solo Rowlet. And on the end, we've got a full art Piers. Okay, the luck's turned around. What is that? A bloody uh, Zigzagoon right there? I think it's a Zigzagoon. It might not be the evolution of Zigzagoon or Obstagoon. I keep getting confused, but the centering is very good on the back of that. My brother's going to be happy with that card. People, I don't know what it is about full art trainer cards, but I don't honestly feel like some goddamn YouTuber hyped the shit out of them because now they're really popular and the price of them just skyrocketed. It's almost, it's almost like they need to shift focus to constantly keep that money coming in. Right. Right, last pack. Let's see if we can get another shine. We've only got one so far, which is a bit, uh, which is a bit disappointing. Right, code card. One, two, three, four to the front. Come on, something decent. Let's go. Fire. Give me a Charizard. Cramorant. Ball guy. Dartrix. Bloody seahorse. More Pico. Coughing. Yanma. Trap Inch. Reverse Holo Manaphy. That's another Reverse Holo Rare. And on the end, we've got a more Pico V. Okay. Again, I'm not too familiar with more Pico. He's referred to as the somewhat bipolar Pikachu, although I don't agree with that term because being a mental health nurse myself, I don't think that, I think that term bipolar is a bit used incorrectly. Um, but yeah, nah, I try not to use it. But yeah, nah, he's just a, he's a bit of a mood swinging We'll go with that. We'll go with a bit of a mood swinging Pikachu, but not a bad pull, not a bad pull. Right, come on, Celebi and Creepy Rillaboom, be my saving grace, yeah? Give me a Charizard, or what else is big in this that I want? I'll take some I'll take some V-Maxes, but I would, I'll take too many Shinies also. Right, without the plastic, there you go. All right, all right we're back to these two again. I'm going to finish with Toctricity. Let's go with old McDonald's ears. Wee, Jesus Christ, keep your hands together, you idiot. Okay, four to the front. Right, straight off the bat, Steel Energy, Thwacky, 
a towel, ball guy doing some form of dance, horsey, snom on a bench, spinner rack, Q-fant, Rowlet, shiny Dragapult. I will take that. I did say I would take too many shinies, and we got another Hollow Frost Moss. So we'll just quickly look at that. No one cares, but that is definitely a double now, guys. Seeing as we pulled two of them in the same video, so stay tuned. This will go in the doubles giveaway. Right. Shiny Dragapult. I'm very, very happy with that. I'm not sure. Is there a Shiny Dragapult in the actual set or is it just a promo card that's coming out of the VMAX boxes? I could be wrong, but let me know in the comments section below. I have ordered those boxes, but they've... I don't know if they've been cancelled or delayed, but I haven't had my money back, so that's uh, that's not good. Come on, bring me some absolute magic. Go card. Wet Energy, Gym Trainers, Tree Dinosaur, Towel, Big Ass Flower, Eevee Love and Life in the Water, as you would be. We've got a more Pico, we've got a Yanma, we've got a little Choodle. Oh. Okay. And on the end, we got a Celebi. Okay, I can't I can't be mad. Although, holy shit, look at the centering. That's, is that, I don't know if that comes into the extreme poor centering. On the back, it's still pretty bad. Look at the cut on that, it's awful. Although I do really love this card. This, in my eyes, this is the best uh, Amazing Rare in this set. Although I do want the Rest Rare and I do want the Yvetel. But we already pulled this last week, which my brother was very happy in his tins. We also These are also his tins, so he's going to be happy to pull another one. But it means I get to keep one. And I'm sure he's going to want to keep the one that's not uh, such dog shit centering. But I'll take it. I, I like this. I do like this. But oh my god, look at that. That is atrocious. People... There's a whole market for these bad boys, though. Right, guys, pulls of the day. If you compare them to the bloody last tin opening, the last five tins we opened there, it's absolutely atrocious, but we won't do that. They're still very good pulls, and again, I'm still buzzing just to have some stock. And by the way, guys, this is going to get reprinted to the fucking moon and back, so just got to be patient. You will get your stock, I promise. We got a bloody Cinderace V, of course. We got the more Pico V. Then we get into the mini shinies. We had that shiny Dragapult. Is this a tiny... Is there two Pokemon living inside its ears in this thing? Is that just me, or is that one whole Pokemon, like, for Lynx? You're going to have to let me know in the comment section, but I'm pretty sure that's just the tiny, bloody base set version of that. We got the bloody Galarian Ponyta. Again, not sure if the original Ponyta had a horn, and they just made the Galarian one a unicorn. We have the awfully cut Kyogre, amazing rare. Beautiful goddamn card though, seriously. I can't wait to see in later sets when they do more amazing rares. They look absolutely exceptional. They're honestly my favorite artwork since the Watsi era. It's just, there's just something about them. They're unbelievable. And they're the traditional style. They've just extended it around here a little bit more. But anyways, I'll get off that. I'll stop. Pull my tongue out of Kyogre's ass. But yeah, nah, right. And we got the full up peers, which is definitely the pull of the day. Again, I'm not too familiar with the boy. I have played the game. These Pokemon get really annoying in the game though. But yeah, nah, full up trainer cards. Crazy, crazy where they've gone. But um, yeah, no, guys, other than that, I shouldn't complain. The pulls are pretty good today. Let me know in the comment section below what you thought, and hopefully your pulls are getting just as good. Also, make sure you hit me up on Instagram at Super Smash Pokemon 64. But yeah, no, guys, other than that, I hope you're all doing well no matter where you are in the world. But as always, take it easy. Peace out.